I thank you so much. I am honored to be here and to support a right cause, which is our common cause. We can't live without further having dignity without this problem being solved and these people protected and then free. Western world today is worried about Iranian nuclear program and they seek once and again to reach some sort of compromises with dictators. This is a short-sighted and immoral view because key to the solution in this very, in, in this very room these people here, represented by Madame Rajavi and his colleagues, are key to get rid of a terrorist regime, not achieved by doubtful negotiations and immoral compromises, but to be reached on the basis of guaranteeing full human rights to Iranian people, a secular state, equality between women and men, and abstaining from military nuclear pro program. All these suggestions have come from here. Uh, and that's why we need to support these people. It's our common cause, because Mullah's dictatorship has the clearest and bloodiest long-time track record in the world. And instead of seriously supporting the opposition, sadly the Western governments are clinging to a hope that it will still be possible to come to terms with mullahs. This is some sort of death, wish of death, because it looks like if the Western governments don't find suitable moderates or doves, they are prepared to invent them to create moderates. And we see this in the case of the present current president. Because what does it mean to come to terms? This means readiness to trust your partner. And if your partner, if you have a partner that treats you as an enemy, who has violated all possible agreements, how can you come to terms? Today we are here to have a different reaction. But we must first realize we need to defend, it's, we, we are defending also our common future. As it has been said, it's the responsibility of 28 member states of the European Union. And we need to start demonstrations be between our foreign ministries before our foreign ministers, before our minister of, ministers of interior, Madame Rajavi has said very clearly what is behind the latest Geneva compromise, so-called compromise. It is the fear of the current regime to have 2009 demonstrations be repeated. It's in our possibility to put pressure on these weak points and win. Hunger strikes show desperation caused by Western official attitude. But we need to move on. We need to be, be more, to have more solidarity. And we need all to fear, feel that until the solution has been achieved, we are all part of Ashraf and Liberty. Thank you.